Hi guys, today practical is inverting operational amplifier. The op the operational amplifier is high gain DC amplifier which basically consists of differential amplifier. Its performance can be changed as desired by changing external components. In the inverting amplifier, input signal is applied to the inverting amp terminal through input register RR. Non-inverting non -inverting inputs is ground. Inver inverting voltage feedback is obtained through RF. The output signal is 180 degree out of phase with the input. Now the see in these circuits input RI input RI we are connecting the one register and pin number 2 for the 741 and the see the pin, pin number 741 now the see this pin number 2 is uh, going to the output of the pin number 6 uh, feedback register we are connected in 10k and the pin number 7 is VCC and see here pin number 3 is ground and we are connecting here 1, 4 and 5 we are connecting here one potentiometer it may be measure the we are uh, adjusting the nulling now the see here pin number 4 we are connecting negative voltage minus 12 volt VCC and output is pin number 6 now to see here this is a formula gain minus RF by RI now the say the your gain is given to you minus 4.54 so we are already given to you uh, your formula is the, like this now 10k and we find the value of ri now the say ri value we are find it here with the log table and your ri value is 2.2k okay now the see we are assembling this circuit 741 now the see this is a ic 741 it is a 8 pin ic 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now the see in this circuit here pin number 7 is vcc so we are indicated the red color of the wire pin number 7 okay now the see this is a we are connecting pin number 7 and black wire indicated ground see here pin number 4 pin number 4 is your black this is pin number 4 and see here pin number 2 is your RI RI we are taking 4.7 register so this is your pin number 2 so we are indicated yellow color of the wire this is your pin number 2 and other end we are connecting here pin number Two to here and other end going to up now. This is your pin number two. So we are connecting here one register. And we are connecting one feedback register. Feedback register is 10k so we are connecting 10k register properly we are mounted 90 degree of this one see here ok this is your pin number connected to 226 it is a feedback register and your output is we are indicated blue color of the wire this is your output In this way we are this one and this is your pin number six output and pin number three is your circuit ground okay so pin number three one two three this is your ground we indicated black color of the wire Okay. Now see here we are connecting here 
potentiometer this is a nulling i'll show this is a nulling see this is a potentiometer 1 2 3 we are connecting anyway no problem see here i'll connect like this now pin first is we are connecting in pin number 1 and another is pin number 4 and this way this is a last one third one is we are connecting in pin number 5 okay now your circuit is completing now the see in this circuit this is your ri 4.7k input input should be ground when we done the offset nulling in the offset nulling now the see this is your vcc we are connecting here pin number 7 and this is ground this is your ground part and this is your minus 12 here your dual power cell we have to use here so we are connecting pin number 4 and this is your multimeter digital multimeter digital negative point is ground common and this is your output point we are connecting in pin number 6 and we are on the power supply and we are adjusting here 0 the help of this pot ok now to see why we done the nulling because of nulling whatever we have take the readings not coming your output may be error we are taking the readings for the DC input voltage now see already we are adjusting here input voltage we are connecting here see input voltage we are connecting RI that is a 0 0.5 0 0.5 and output is 2 point minus 2.33 and next again we are connecting input is point, uh, 1 volt ok we are adjusting 1 volt and your output is minus 4.63 and the CR next is 1.5 volt okay input is 1.5 volt and output is minus 6.90 whatever now the C here we are find the difference here we write down here now after your practicals now the next part of the practical is see here where your register value is input voltage is 2.2 k what is your input voltage and output voltage that is a your maximum voltage that can be applied in with output getting saturated saturated when you have done the saturated now see here we done the edges now see one particular value one the particular value see here yes see when the particular value your voltage may be increasing the minus 9.71 this is your saturation voltage so your saturation voltage we write down here the voltage may be 2.5 volt and 9 point minus 9.71 now the see ac input voltage this setup is ac voltage input voltage now the see here this is your signal generator we are connected here signal generator inputs we are connecting in inputs here okay now output is we are connecting another this is a cro okay cro channel 1 and channel 2 channel 1 is your input and channel 2 is your output see this is your input we are existing 0.1 volt and this is your output now the c this is your output now this is how to take the reading first we are existing the help of this level 0.1 okay one division multiplied by 0.1 it may be 0.1 volt so we are existing ac voltage is 0.1 and we we'll measure this this height of the voltages now you see this is channel number 2 is your output now see here first block second third fourth and 4.4 4.4 .4. 4 .4 multiplied by 0.1 it may be 0.44 volt now the see this is your frequency measurement okay in the frequency measurement we will keep the, your input voltage constant and we will vary the your frequency F some frequency the voltage may be your volt output voltage may be constant and the particular when your frequency may be increasing that time your that time your voltage output decreasing